Jeffrey, you have money. This is that <laughs> Well, do you have money? This is how we begin our day. <laughs> We're on our way to the hospital to have a baby. And Two babies. The only them. thing that Bubby can possibly say is, do you have money? Here is your mom. Here is you. You're heavy. This is well the moment we've all been waiting for. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lexi. Happy birthday to you. Make a wish. In the Jewish tradition, when the glass is broken, your time together begins. First there was you, then there was me, then there was us. We were really something, weren't we? When you're a kid, time moves slow. Minutes feel like hours, hours like days, days like years. We learn how to play, and we learn how to love. We learn how to do all the things kids are supposed to do. And with each new skill, we become more adult. What we don't know as kids is that once you're an adult, it's hard to turn back. As kids, we always wish to be older. And then one day, which feels like out of nowhere, we are. As a teenager, we gain our independence. We find out our passions and begin to figure ourselves out. We go through the milestones and live like we're invincible. We're young and we're fearless. We have to make decisions, big ones. And sometimes these can leave our heads spinning. It's a time of many firsts and many lasts. I fell in love. I had my heart broken. I met my forever friends. They say these are the best years of our life and that they go by fast. But you don't realize how fast that is till something you love slips away from you. First there was you, then there was me, then there was us. And we were really something, weren't we? They say the world is a big place, hundreds of countries to see, billions of people to meet. We don't have time to see everything, so we have to choose. But tell me, out of the hundreds of countries to choose from, and billions of people to meet, how did I get lucky enough to find you? Imagine my semester abroad. I never pictured friends like you in it. But now it's hard to imagine a life without you. I've always believed that life is not about the places you go, but the people you go there with. And now that our time has ended shortly, and I think of the blank pages where our memories would have been, I keep wishing that I could go back stop the clock, and relive every moment just one more time. Fragments. When a glass is broken at a Jewish wedding, it is meant to symbolize that life is not perfect. 
and we must spend our time working to pick up the pieces. Together. So when life as we knew it shattered out of nowhere, and we were left with only fragments of what used to be, that's exactly what we did. And it reminded me why I fell in love with this city in the first place. I never expected a group of strangers to have such a big impact on me, but London was only London because of you. You were the people who reached out on day one, and were there until the end. It made me excited to go to class every day, and just as excited for the journey to get there. You were always laughing about something, and boy, did you make me laugh. You always had a smile on your face, and could always bring a smile to mind when I needed it most. You were the old friends that became family, and the family that became friends. In just a short amount of time, you really changed my life. just two months, one city made me fall in love, broke my heart, and gave me my forever friends. The biggest thing I learned on this adventure is that you can't take time for granted. But what do we do now with so much time when it feels like time has stopped altogether? We need to live each day to the fullest and continue making memories because even when it feels like it isn't, the clock is ticking.